Hello, this is Aaron Traffis with Purple Wave. We are conducting an estate auction for Flying L Ranch near Ponca City, Oklahoma that will close on March 11th. It's a solid inventory of farm equipment, and I'm going to visit briefly with Keith Lees, Purple Wave's territory manager, who has been on the ground there in Ponca City getting everything listed and ready to go. Good morning, Keith, and thanks for joining me. Good morning, Aaron. Tell me about this event. What kind of equipment are we selling? This is an entire liquidation of the Flying L Ranch operation. We're selling a wide range of ag equipment, including cattle equipment, grain hauling and harvesting equipment, hay equipment, application equipment, and more. Well, tell me about Flying L. Why are we selling everything for them, and why did they like to use Purple Wave? Flying L is a large farming operation that's based just west of Ponca City. Um, this is an estate sale for the Flying L Ranch. Uh, the decision makers at Flying L... Uh, did their research um, and interviewed several companies that are in the equipment sales industry. And after that, they felt that Purple Wave was the best fit for them and that we could get the best recoveries in the market. Well, tell me about the equipment that they have there. What are some of the, the marquee items? They mainly operate uh, late model John Deere equipment. We'll be selling approximately 85 pieces, highlighted by... Uh, John Deere 8430 with approximately 3,400 hours on it. There's a John Deere 7830 with approximately 3,000 hours. It's got a 746 loader on it. Uh, we've got two 9770 combines. One's got 1,000 separator hours and one's got 1,300 separator hours. Um, nice late model machines. There's a 4830 sprayer with approximately 1,800 hours on it. It's got 90 foot of booms and comes with a GS2 GPS system. Um, there's several Peter belts, including an 05 379. It's got a it's got a Cat uh, C15 motor and approximately 700,000 miles on it. Um, there's a John Deere 719 split row planer, 4995 self-propelled John Deere Swather. Uh, there's a real nice 2013 Ford King Ranch. It's got 8,900 actual out miles on it. It's a one owner. It's loaded up. There's a 2012 568 John Deere round baler. Uh, several other mechanical full drive front wheel assist uh, tractors with loaders. There's some headers, grain trailers, grain carts, and the list goes on there. Tell me about the auction location. Is it easy to get to from Ponca City? Yes, it's approximately five miles west of Ponca City. We will post the address to the site for the viewing date so that people can find this easier. I understand that we are making the equipment available for inspection by publishing a couple of open inspection periods on March 6th and March 10th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. each day. Will there be a way for somebody to take a look at the inventory outside of those times? Yes, we'll all be on site the day of the sale as well. We'll have some kiosks available to help people bid if need be. What does a winning bidder need to do in order to come down and pick up his purchases? Buyers, all the buyers must bring a copy of a paid invoice that shows what they purchased, and we will help them in any way we can get it loaded. Talk a little more about the pickup process, specifically when and how purchases must be removed. We will have a couple of loader tractors there uh, during the three loadout dates that we posted on the website, March 13th, 19th, and 20th. And we will be there all day on those dates from 9 a.m. to 4. So as long as they have a copy of a paid invoice, they just show up on one of those three days and we'll help them get it loaded to the best of our ability. In the event that somebody cannot pick up the eight purchases during those three days that you just mentioned, uh, is, there, is there any kind of consideration for somebody to be able to come outside of those days? All items really need to be removed on one of those three posted dates. Uh, we're going to be there all day, set up, ready to help on those three days. Well, Keith, is there anything else you want to say or mention about this auction? This is a very unique opportunity in that it's not very often you get a chance to bid on an entire package of late model equipment coming out of a recent farming operation. And as you know, all the items are selling to the highest bidder without reserve. Keith Lease is Purple Waves Territory Manager for parts of South Central Kansas and North Central Oklahoma. You can find him on the web at purplewave.com slash Keith Lease. That's K-E-I-T-H-L-E-I-S. Contact him at keith.lease at purplewave.com or call 316-640-7963.
Bidding for the Flying L Ranch estate auction is open now and will close Wednesday, March 11th, beginning at 1 p.m. Like all Purple Wave auctions, there are no reserves or minimum bids. Items receiving bids in the last few minutes will be automatically extended to give everyone a fair chance to bid. There's no advantage in waiting, so view the complete inventory and place your bids now at purplewave.com.